Hey, it's Sarah with House Copper. I uh, recently came back from Washington, D.C. and did a class, and um, was kind of it was all about tools of the trade to people who didn't know a lot about um, different tools, um, especially when they were writing historical novels. And one of the things that was really fun was um, to show them some of these tools. If you ever run across one of these, um, some people have asked me about this on other social media sites. They're like, is this what they say they are? These are the original soldering irons. So if you can tell, it's like a copper on top, and then there's usually like a wrought iron uh, handle, and then usually the handle itself is made out of wood. Um, this one I've refurbished a little bit, so if you're lucky, you can find them um, like this. But other times, you may not be able to tell that they're copper. This one's a little bit more oxidized. There's some good vertebra on it. Um, but really, um, what they would do is, um, They'd cover the tip with sal ammoniac, and then, um, which usually comes in a block, like this. I know, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be looking on this thing. Okay, so sal ammoniac, they'd cover the tip with it um, once it got a little hot, because they'd stick this inside of like a tin oven, and they'd stick it in there, and, they, and it'd be on a little tray, and it would get hot, and then they'd pull it out, and they'd melt the sal ammoniac on the tip, and then they'd actually cover that tip where the sal ammoniac is with tin and then the tin would bond easier to additional tin which you would use um, to solder seams so that things were watertight whether that's a roof or a kettle or a pot or a cup. So, um, so if you find these grab them they're vintage they're real they really are probably owned by the person's great-grandfather or whatever and use them for um, soldering and they were called coppers. So if it's really confusing because like copper smiths and then there's copper sheet metal, but these were called coppers um, or soldering coppers or vintage soldering irons now. So there you go. There's your little piece of history for the day. Super fun. Add any other total history folklore stuff. I have some really cool um, little histories that I've heard about these things that, um, you know, where various sayings come from and, um, and that's really exciting to uh, share that um, oral history. Okay, thanks for watching.